ఫుడ్ సెక్యూరిటీ టుడే ఆ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఈజ్ ఫుడ్ సెక్యూరిటీ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫుడ్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఎర్లియర్ బిఫోర్ వీ గాట్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఫ్రమ్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ టు ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ వీస్ టు హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఫెమైన్స్ డ్రౌట్స్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ఇన్ అవర్ కంట్రీ వై డూ వీ హ్యావ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ పీరియడ్ ద ఫెమైన్స్ డ్రౌట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్ ఫెమైన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్ డ్రౌట్ వాట్ డూ వీ గెట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ లైక్ హౌ టు అడ్రస్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఫెమైన్ మీన్స్ వెన్ వీ గెట్ ఇట్ ఫర్ ఎ లాంగ్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ లైక్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ వెన్ వీ ఫెయిల్ ద క్రాప్స్ టు గెట్ ఆర్ ఫుల్ఫిల్ ద నీడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ టు ఈట్ ఆర్ ప్రొవైడ్ ద డైలీ నీడ్స్ ఎస్పెషలీ ద ఫుడ్ ఆఫ్ రైస్ ఆర్ వీట్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఫెమైన్ when it is in a larger scale it is called famine when it is in a smaller scale like a seasonal crop fails it is called drought we have an example in 1943 to 45 if you look at the image here we can get the clarity that in bengal during the 1943 45 period nearly 3 to 5 million people died lack of food why did we get this kind of situation for us what is the scenario that led to form of this kind of situation where 3 to 5 million people have passed away without having proper food we have an example given for us in the image that a small boy who moved on with his brothers and sisters to kolkata to in search of food you could see the people they are searching like their grains they are picking up the grains from the road they are eating the snakes they are using the other animals or whatever they are getting on the road earlier they were rich farmers who used to do their work in their landless things and all these things but later the situation made them to do like this that they are searching the food literally and they are hungry they are, they don't know what they are doing actually if you look at them we get scared that the th- things that they are taking from dustbin all the things and eating the items from the dustbins and all these things will get scary for us but that the hunger which makes them to do all these things it is nothing but the hunger strike which hit in india 1943 45 we have 3 to 5 million people have passed away these are not the actual figures of the exact figures we don't know the exact figures how many people have really died or really lost their lives the man or the boy who moved from place to kolkata in search of food lost the his entire family even his father because of the lack of the food conditions this is the scenario in 1943 45 what would be the factors that led to the, this kind of situation we have the rulers of britishers that time we don't have our democratic setup or our own rulers to look after or to address the issues here so the britishers were self motivated they are very much interested in carrying on the raw materials from india to the abroad but rather than taking care of the indian people or indian farming or indian agriculture they even kept large plantations and made provided the crops to grow which are useful for them in their fields which are necessary for the raw materials of their industries rather than the for indians for rice or for wheat or for the food eatables whatever is required for indians this made could be one of the reason which made the strike of 1943 45 severe famine and the drought which hit for our nation and where many of the millions of people have lost their food and became shelterless and moved out of their hometown villages and search of food to cities where they could not get there also this led to the many of the problems for us food security for our country how can we provide food security for our country india what would be the reason to get food security in the previous example we have seen the scenario that the people are died literally lack of food due to hunger state many of the lakhs of people have lost their lives so this led to the situation that a country to think of what is the alternative for this or what would be the solution for this so the main or the utmost solution what we can provide directly is everybody can understand is that increase what we have to increase we have to increase the production if we increase the production according to the population needs for example we have 100 crores plus population so if we can provide the crops fertility which is equal to the 100 crore population plus and provide the food materials which is necessary for them automatically if everybody is get accessible to that which can lead to the food security in the nation food security in india is nothing but providing the capacity to supply food for all the people and make them it available at the very less cost for them where everybody can afford for it and get it so this is nothing but we have to increase the production in bulk do we have the real scenario of increase in this in the bulk of the production can we really increase the production of india if you see the real statistics which are growing from 1980 to 1990s or 1970s to 1980s 1990s or 2000 trends you can see here the production is growing in some areas in a larger extent because of green revolution in 70s and 80s we have reached to a satisfactory levels but at the same time in some areas we don't have much of the production increased for example in the bihar regions or in the other regions where the development is very low or the supply of water is very low there we can't expect them to grow the fields which they can't at all afford they don't get the water for their water supply so 
because of this the another problem what we are getting is the lands which are more fertile the people are utilizing the underground waters in a high level or high existing rates then which leads them the scarcity of the underground water levels which may lead them to get further problems and the crop fertility may come down instead of increasing the production in india to get the food security we may be in a threat that the production levels may come down to the present existing levels and we may be in trouble of the future scenario so this has to be addressed very seriously to provide food security in india we have to must increase the production which is available for us at the existing rate to be doubled or tripled to the needs or the according to the population demands and at the same time we have to get it available to the people at the less affordable cost where a common man can get approached to it for example if a person needs 300 grams of rice if you are providing only him 100 grams of rice that too at a very high cost level these people can't afford it and can't reach to it so it should be under their reach at the same time we should provide them in bulk wherever it is necessary for them if you are not able to provide all these things it would lead to an another dangerous famine where we would have lost many millions of the people this could be a disastrous situation where we can't address the nation it should be taken very seriously food security how can we provide the food security for us we have seen the scenario we have seen the trends now are we able to compete this what is the thing actually happening in our agriculture the thing is we are using many unscientific methods we are using many fertilizers which are going deep into the underground layers and spoiling the fertility of the crops at various levels this could be one point which could be the reduction of the crops or the fertility or the production output then how can we get the availability of the food for all the people or how do we say that is it food available for everybody or not there is a calculation for this according to the mathematical statements like do we get the food supplied is sufficient or not because generally when we see news we have that 80 million stores of rice is stored in the pds and all these things do we really get it or no where is the formula for this see here per year how much food we are getting is equal to the production the total production what is made in the entire nation that is from all the 28 states and the union territories wherever the rice produced or wherever the wheat is produced that everything is calculated minus the seeds which are present in that the feed or the wastage which has been removed from that then you get plus you have to add the net means if we are importing something that should be added for it when we are exporting something that should be deducted from it because exporting is nothing but literally we are throwing it away from our place importing is we are getting it from other place to our place so total is that production minus seed feed and wastage plus the imports what we are getting is called the total production of the year or the availability of rice per year then how do we calculate the availability of rice per day how can we get it just simple production of the food grains by total food after we get the formula of this production the per year production divided by the entire population total divided by 365 days because per year we have 365 days divided into you get per day how much amount or food do we require for the entire nation for us this is a formula mathematically to be proved to say that whether we are getting the sufficient amount of food grains available for us in our nation or no basing on this criteria we can say that whether the rice is available for us sufficiently according to the people's requirements or no coming to the point like not only rice wheat cereals or food grains or any other items are we getting all the other things also sufficiently as per we are getting this or only we have the problem only with the rice and wheat because most of the people have the raw food or like compulsory we need more amount of rice and wheat no it is not the condition here cereals pulses everything are also not available to the required levels or the sufficient levels or the sufficient amount of the thing which is needed for us is not at all reachable here because we have problems in production of that also because the rice as it is a major thing and everybody needs rice at every nook and corner of india so we address it in a larger scale but the same lands are producing the same things we have to understand the point here is the same lands are producing the things which are required for us which means that here rice we are taking an example but it is not compulsory that rice is produced completely or productively other than the cereals or all these things everything is needed for us to get sufficient thing but we are not able to provide sufficiently for all the items especially rice is most important but we are not able to provide cereals pulses wheat or anything to the required optimum level that could be the reason why we are not able to provide the food security in our nation what are the steps taken by the government what are the issues addressed we'll discuss just in a moment